Everybody knows about Boca Raton as a Jewish center of life. There are hundreds of thousands of Jews in the area. It's definitely on the map, people know about it. And you know by the amount of Jewish schools that are around, you know by the amount of synagogues, you know by the amount of kosher restaurants, kosher supermarkets. That's all signs of a vibrant, growing community. The history of our shul was a shul where people came as snowbirds, snowflakes, part-timers, etc. So our challenge was to find a rabbi who could transform our part-time shul into a, a vibrant, thriving community of its own. We were living in Israel. We were very, very happy. I was running a base medrash program. And when we boarded that plane from Israel to visit our family to spend Pesach here in Florida, never in our wildest dreams did we anticipate that that vacation would turn into a journey that we find ourselves on now. We knew after the first meeting this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us to find our spiritual leader. From the beginning, we felt right at home. We're able to connect with everybody and it's just grown slowly from there. Just in the short period of time, the shul is more than double. Such a wide range of backgrounds, both in terms of religiosity, to where people, you know, from, from birth or, or became religious over time. You have young families, young professional families, you have retirees. Several Holocaust survivors in the community really bring a lot of depth to the community. When you walk in to our shul, you feel an electricity, a warmth, a spirituality. You feel a sense of being welcome, of not being judged. You just come as who you are and you're accepted. You don't need to pretend to be someone else to fit in at Boca Jewish Center. I've never been so at peace of mind in my life. Shabbat and Yantif in the shul and the davening and the rabbi's lectures and his classes and the drushes. It's, it's brought me home. And I think a lot of people feel when they walk into the doors of this shul, they're coming home. The shul starts at five o'clock in the morning when our dear chef, Mayer, who is a Holocaust survivor, is already cooking in the kitchen breakfast for us. We roll into Talmud and Gemara with the rabbi, 6.30 with Avni Shachwis, and the shul is bustling already. There really is something for everyone. We've established a very exciting Sunday morning breakfast and learn lecture series. We have a Tuesday morning insights into tefillah, prayer class. We have a fantastic Wednesday night one-on-one -on -one partners in Torah learning. We have a Motzei Shabbos Avus Ubanim father and son learning program. My wife has been so incredible. Besides her unbelievably warm and inviting hospitality to all members of our community, Shabbos, Yantif meals, she's active teaching a mommy and me bugle babies class on Thursday mornings here in the shul. Kids between ages one and three come. We do lots of music and dancing and singing and has a nice Jewish twist. I give a cooking class in my kitchen, just like a cooking show. All the women come, we have a great time, food and a little bit of learning and it's an amazing combination. It's very warm and delicious. We've established a Jewish Heritage Book Club. We're affiliated with APAC. I had the great opportunity to participate in the annual summit and the annual policy conference in Washington, D.C. We partnered with the Friends of the IDF we went to the fire station uh, to visit the firefighters, which was a lot of fun, and we've done, you know, bowling nights. Shabbos in our shul in Boca Jewish Center is filled with happiness, with tremendous spiritual growth for everybody. His sermons are out of the park, whether he's talking about sports, about current events, about Israel. It's always tied to the weekly parsha, always tied to how we can better ourselves as an individual and how we can better ourselves as a people. One of the most satisfying and exciting things 
has been to see the number of children that we see regularly on Shabbos, 60, 70 children who come with their families. My son comes with me every Friday night and uh, he loves leaving a, a yigdal at the end of services. My two older girls run the kids group for their sections there, so they're here every week. I knew that Boca Jewish Center was a great place for us because my children at 13 and 14 years old called up for an aliyah. What's really beautiful is someone different is always up and singing. So there's new tunes, different people, and even my husband, who does not have a yeshiva background, has been asked to come up and lead services, and he does it, it's, and that's an amazing. You can have the greatest marketing, you can have the greatest weather, you can have the greatest homes. In the end, it's all about how people feel when they walk into a shul. And that's something you can't fake, and it's not something that you can artificially produce. And that's what really makes our community unique in the United States. It's a place where we can daven. Uh, it's a place where we can come and laugh. It's a place of you know, something that doesn't go right or a family tragedy. You have people who you can lean on and work your way through those difficult times there. Having an amazing rabbi and an amazing rabbitson definitely, you know, brings a shul up, builds a shul, but we have incredible members that have bent over backwards to make the shul grow. And Linda Golden, for sure, she's one of those members that's always doing. As this community continues to grow, it's critical that there are people who are willing to step up and give of their time and give of their money and give their passion into helping grow the community. We want to touch as many Jewish lives as possible because we believe in the Jewish people. We believe in the continuity of the Jewish people. My wife, our five precious and beautiful children, we couldn't be more excited, more exhilarated, more happy to be part of this most special community. We just want people to leave here feeling connected, feeling uplifted, and feeling like they know they have a family that they can always go to if they need and we're always here for them. When I look into the face of every single member of our community, I see our future. I see our survival. I see a very strong Jewish people, vibrant, alive, involved, maximizing what is their spiritual and Jewish calling in life, making the most of their odyssey and the life that is the Boca Jewish Center.